everyone. So this evening I'm going to work on how to tie a couple of different knots. Um, these knots are knots that I use when I'm out fishing. Um, I'll run through a couple of examples of the knots that I'm going to do um, and then I'll tie some on camera. Try and make it as visual as possible so that you guys out there can see how easy it is to tie these knots and hopefully learn how to tie your own. So first things first, um, probably the simplest one out there and probably don't even have to put it in here, but I'm going to anyway. So we've got pretty much any time I am using a Paternoster rig, I use a dropper loop at the bottom of the Paternoster rig. And that's so the sinkers that I use, I use rocket sinkers and they're the ones with the swivels. They're these sinkers here um, with the swivels built into them. So using these sinkers and using a dropper loop for the bottom of the Paternoster, perfect loop to use. Um, so if you need to change the size of your sinkers, it's pretty much just unhook it and put on a, a bigger or a smaller size sinker. So we'll get into that first. I'll show you a demonstration of that one. Everyone pretty much should sure already know this anyway. But my dropper loop, I do a double dropper loop. So all we do is we get the tag end, bring it around on itself like that, make a loop, pass it through once, pass it through twice, hold your two ends, Pull that tight. Now I've found with the double, um, when I used to use the single dropper loop, I used to find that it would pull tight and you wouldn't be able to change your sinkers. Um, I used to use it on hooks for the Paternoster rigs as well. Um, but since learning a new knot, I don't use them anymore. Um, but that is pretty much the dropper loop. They're done, ready to go. All you then do is, obviously I can't do it with the sinker. You thread that through, loop it over, and it comes back on itself. Knot number two. Um, and this one I've only learnt to tie in the last couple of months. Um, Pretty much ever since COVID hit, um, I've been looking up new things to use, new knots, new rigs, stuff like that. So this knot is called a surgeon's knot. Now you can do a single, double and a triple. Now there's gonna be a few more knots that I demonstrate um, and then I'll make up a couple of rigs and I'll show you the surgeon's knot. I'll show you the drop the loop and a couple of other knots that we're gonna have in the upcoming video. So what you want to do with your surgeon's knot, two pieces of line. So we'll go we'll go the blue piece and the red piece. All right, so get these out of the way. So this is how we're going to tie the surgeon's knot. So your two pieces of line there. Now, say this is going to be you can use a surgeon knot to attach braid to um, fluorocarb leader material. Um, I don't, I use the FG knot. So surgeon's knot, this is pretty much a surgeon's knot. Two pieces of, of line together. If you're using, say the red ones, your braided main line and your blue ones, your leader material. Um, so what you wanna do, bring them together. You just wanna make a loop like so, pretty much just three granny knots all over each other like that, and then pull that tight. All right, so there's your red main line. Now what you can do once this is done, trim your tag ends. What I do with this surgeon's knot, um, I'll show you in the um, after part. we've done a few more knots. But anyway, so that's the surgeon's knot. Um, what I'll do, I'll put a diagram of the surgeon's knot 
just over my left shoulder. Um, I found one on the internet that pretty much demonstrates exactly what I've just done here. All right guys, so the next knot in question, we've got the double uni knot. So I'm gonna tie the double uni knot now. So what you wanna do, put your lines together just like this. So you make a loop with both lines. So you wanna make a loop pretty much just like that. So then you wrap it around. I'll do three times on this exercise just cause the cord's a bit thick. So then you pull that tight. Obviously, put some saliva on it, tighten it up. You know it's gonna look like. That's what you know it's gonna look like. So what you wanna do on the other end, with your tag end up the other end, do exactly the same loop, exactly the same knot that you've just done. So you create the loop, you wrap it around, three times. However many times you wrap it around on the first knot, always do the same on the second knot. Just gives it stability. Pull that tight. I've got the two knots, they're ready to go. So you've got your leader attached to your main line. So what you want to do then, obviously put saliva on this gap in the middle, then pull these two knots tight on each other then you get your knife or your scissors cut your tag end off and there you have your double uni knot All right guys, so up next, we've got the half blood knot. So this is the knot that I use to attach pretty much every single hook that I use when I'm bait fishing. And nine out of 10 soft plastics I use to attach this as well. So we're gonna do half blood knot. So you go through the eye of your hook, make a loop like that, wrap this main line back around itself, now, I'm only gonna do it three times, just for demonstration purposes, but you wanna do it at least five or six times. Once you've gotten to there, put your tag in back through your loop, saliva up the, the knot, pull it tight. There's your half blood knot tied, ready to use. All right guys, so the next knot up in the video is the locked blood knot. So I'm gonna quickly demonstrate that now. So we do, we'll say this is the hook. So you wanna pull your main line through there. So it's pretty similar to the half blood knot, just as a little bit of an extra step. So what you wanna do from there, loop it as normal. Now you wanna wrap your tag end around your main line a couple of times as normal as per a normal half blood knot. Now you put it back through the loop above the eye. Now what you do next is that loop that you've created by the tag end coming back through the loop here. Put your tag end through there and pull that knot tight. That there is your locked blood knot. And that's how easy it is to tie. So up next, we've got your standard uni knot. Now, uni knot is used to attach sinkers and hooks to your main line or to your leader material. So all you do, you thread your, your line through there Thread your line through there, you make your loop. Now, what you wanna do next, give yourself a bit of leeway with 
your tag end and make a knot, make a loop with your main line. Wrap that around a couple of times. Pull it tight. I'll only do it three times just for demonstration purposes. Pull that tight down to your hook. There you have your uni knot. Fairly strong knot, not going to come undone, not going to slip. All right, guys, so we're up to the rig section. Um, so I'm going to show you how to tie a Paternoster rig. So this is your main line. Now, with my homemade Paternoster rigs, I don't make them on the main line. Um, I make them separate, store them in little freezer, freezer bags. These are obviously 20 pound ones. I use these for gummy sharks, snapper, and when I'm chasing flatties as well. These are made out of just standard mono line. I'll get four pattern oster rigs per bag, and I usually take one or two bags out with me every time I go out. So this is our rig. So what you wanna do at the bottom of your rig, tie your little dropper loop so we can attach our sinker. I'll just do one knot. All right, so there's your dropper loop. You put your sinker on there, so your sinker sits. Sinker sits there, just like that. All right, now what you wanna do, this is where the surgeon knot comes in handy. I'll do one here, and then I'll show you how to do another one a bit further up. So if you only wanna do a one hook pattern oster rig, um, what you do, so you get 20 to say 30 centimeters of leader material that you're using. So I come up, probably about a foot off the bottom. So you wanna lay your line, lay that extra piece next to your line. Probably wanna pinch it about there. Yeah, we're gonna do the surgeon's knot. So what you wanna do, roll it over on itself. Just like so. You wanna go one, two, what we'll do, we'll do a double surgeon's knot for now, just because this cord is a bit a bit thicker than I was expecting. All right, so hold both ends, and you just wanna pull that knot tight. Obviously lube it up with saliva. Now, what I wanna tell you from here, what I do, um, you don't have to, but this is what I do. You wanna put just a, a knot in here, just a granny knot, like so. You want to make sure that this knot stays on top of your surgeon's knot. Yeah. So that puts it at a 90 degree angle from your main line. Now what you want to do from here is tie, see this is your hook. You want to tie your blood knot on there. All right. There's your hook, there's your rig, ready to go for some salt water action or fresh water action, whatever you want to use it for. I've pretty much been using these homemade style rigs for the last 12 months and I haven't found any issues with them yet whatsoever. So that there guys is how I tie my homemade Paternoster rigs. Uh, surgeon knot, blood knot, and a loop knot. We'll drop a loop for there you have the guys. sinker. Gone through a couple of different knots that you can use at home. They're the knots that I pretty much use every time I go out fishing. There are some others out there. You got the FG knot that you tie fluorocarb leader to your main line, usually braid. You've got a couple of other knots that I'm sure other people will be using, but these are the knots that I use. I hope you've enjoyed this instructional video. I hope it's helped you learn how to tie some knots. And until next time, cheers. See you on the water, guys.